What's going on guys, the Barber Phil here back again with another haircut tutorial. And in today's cut, we've got what I would consider a transformation given what the initial spin around here looks like and then the end result. So do me a solid, stick around for the full duration of this 16 minute video. Let me know at the end what you guys thought. If I did my man right, let's get right into it. So a quick disclaimer guys, I'm not going to lie, this is not one of my usual clients. I will say I have cut him a few times, but his regular barber is a buddy of mine right here at Clutch. To my left, Cuts by Coast, if you don't follow his channel, be sure you go and do that. Um, Kel's off on the day that he happened to come in. Uh, I have cut him before, so I kind of knew what I was doing. And one thing that I think is uh, kind of neat, whenever you work in a barber shop, uh, as long as as long as you're good friends with the guys that you work with, you, you never try to intentionally take anybody's clientele. What you do find yourself doing is actually trying maybe a little bit harder when you cut one of their clients because the last thing that I want to have happen is for me to cut this client's head, he go back to Kel and then kind of whisper to Kel, hey, you know, your buddy over here can't even cut, you know, he can't cut hair. So you do find yourself kind of trying a little bit harder. So hopefully Kel doesn't give me too much of a hard time for actually pulling out the camera and filming this haircut since it's not technically my client. Um, but I did feel like I got him together and that way when he gets back in Coast chair, uh, the next haircut, you know, his hair is gonna be perfectly ready for Kel to cut it uh, the way he always has. And at least we give him a good haircut this go around. So what we did here, just to start things off, I wet the hair, got all the, the bed head and he had hair, all that stuff out of the way. We're point cutting pretty deep cuts throughout here cause he does want to keep the texture doesn't want to lose a lot of length um, but we're also trying to point cut remove a little bit of weight uh, his hair is very very thick uh, and it's obviously got some curls so that's why we're pulling the bangs uh, down and kind of not straight across but we are kind of pulling down some of those curls right there at the end and knocking those out uh, but when we get done at the end we'll be able to put some some matte paste in there and kind of work it back and forth through there give it some nice texture and this is probably one of my favorite haircuts that I've actually done in a while. Um, just simply because his hair is so dark, the contrast between uh, once we do a bald fade here in just a minute, up into that weight, it's a nice transition going from, you know, kind of the white under skin up through that darker hair up top. So stick around guys. I do think this one's well worth the 16 minutes to watch it. So stick in there with me and we'll get to the end. So we're gonna kick things off. We are using the Gamma Ergos in this video for the most part uh, for I believe the entirety of the fade. This is a four guard closed and one thing that I definitely like in my time using the Ergos, I actually have a, a pair on the way. Should be in this week sometime, so I'm pretty excited about that. They cut so clean the first pass through. Um, they're a very quiet clipper, but they cut so, like you can see me a lot of these, these areas, I'm just doing one pass up through that spot and then using the comb, combing that, that weight from the top back down. And I can just keep moving, guys. This It's very efficient in its cuts, and so I really like that. Now what we've done, we've got the cordless detailer. We've tapped in that bald line. It's kind of the same thing, bottom of the C cup. And I went straight back. I didn't drop it down too much. We flipped that detailer over. The initial step to the fade is to uh, flick out that detailer line. Now to go ahead and remove the bulk so that we can have a nice transition from bald up into that fade up top uh, is to use the FX's. This is also gonna allow us to come in. I am gonna use the, sh uh, the Gamma uh, shaver and this is gonna have the, give us the best transition from bald up through that weight up top. So what's crazy guys, if you really think about it, even up to this point right here, there's already three levels of this haircut so far. There's the shaver at the bottom, there's the FX just above that, 
and then there is the detailer above the FX. So before we even really get a clipper in our hands, we've already got three levels to this fade. So now what we've got, we've got the lever all the way open, and we have no guard on there. This is just an open lever. It's about three-fourths of an inch or so up towards the front, and then when I get in the back, because there's more a surface area to work with, we do stretch that out to about an inch or so. And as you guys can tell, this, this is blending out even before I start working the, leather, the lever. It's blending out really nice. I really do enjoy the ergos with the little bit of time that I've been able to use them. Um, now I'm going to slowly just start to work that lever closed. We're going to work our way through here, just flicking out that bottom line. Now I am used to a taper blade. I will say that this ergo does have the fade blade on there, so it's a little bit of adjusting because the fade blade does cut a lot closer. Um, but with saying that, when I close that lever all the way up, it does a very good job of taking out that bottom detailer line. So now we've used, we've got four sections within there, just almost five sections, I guess, if you will. You got a closed clipper all the way up through an open clipper. So we are going to continue fading. I'm going to skip guard. Uh, we started with the four guard. I'm going to skip the three and we're going to go straight into an open two guard. And what we're going to do is make sure that every stroke that we take, just like we always do, you're really making sure that you're rocking that clipper out away from the head at the top so that it's putting in the softest line as possible. You could take this clipper, keep it straight to his head, come straight up and down. But every time you go up, you're going to basically put in another line. When you go up the way that I do it, and you flick out, each line that you put in there, you're, you're almost taking out as you come off away from the head. So then what we've done is we've also skipped guarded, we've skipped the one guard, now we've got the Babyliss half guard. We've got it open, and we're slowly working at the bottom of this line here, trying to connect the open section up into the two guard that we just did using this half guard. Now we will come in, uh, we'll use another guard or two. This is really just a rough draft, but if you use the corners of your blade and you really pay attention, you scoop out with each stroke, a lot of times you can get away with not having to use, you know, guards one through eight consecutively, one right after the other. You know, if you finesse through your haircuts and you're very detailed in what you do and you pay attention, you can get away with not using every guard. So one thing I have said for a while, I do feel like there's a difference between the Babyliss half guard and the, um, the wall premium half guard, which is what we currently have on here. And I do have that lever all the way closed. So this is just a step above uh, what, what a no guard would be. We're just kind of trying to detail through this open section. Uh, it's a little more weighted than what I normally would, um, what I would go with. So we, we do end up coming in, lightening this up just a tad bit more. There are some barbers that, I mean, this is about how dark they leave their white lines. Um, I haven't got myself in the habit of doing that yet. Um, that's definitely a style in some areas of the country, but I haven't gotten myself into that habit just yet. Anyways, we're going to go on, move down to the beard a little bit. Um, we're going to use the FX's, kind of set in a nice C cup there, which works out really well with his dark hair. Uh, we clean up the back of his beard. He's got a crazy beard, really thick hair. Uh, his beard hair is even more coarse than what his uh, hair up top is, so it's crazy thick. Uh, we're going to use the FX to set up a nice rough draft there on the top line. Use the uh, Guma, the Gamma Shaver, follow it up by using that Uno in those tight areas or right up against the beard line. And then we're going to continue on and do the exact same steps in the back, so I'm going to let this ride just a sec and let you guys enjoy it. So the biggest tip there in the back or any haircut in general that I can give you from so far, uh, especially in this back area, is using a comb or a brush in your offhand. Uh, every few strokes, use that comb, comb that hair back down into the direction that it wants to fall naturally. 
and that will help you give the most consistent haircuts that you can give because you're not just cutting the hair just wherever it's at you're you're cutting the hair in the direction that it wants to fall and it wants to lay so that's one of the biggest tips that i can give you guys uh, so far and so now we're going to come in we did that four guard so we're going to come right in below that go ahead and start our open section this is a full inch or so started with that lever open now we've closed the lever we're working on that bottom line where we put it in with the detailer we'll open that or we'll open the lever up a little bit hit kind of about through the middle there and then we will continue following the same steps as we did on that right side and make sure that we get a nice consistent fade So we're following that open section up with the two guard, kind of flicking up into that initial four guard we did. That way we can skip the three guard. We'll come in below this, just like we did on the other side. We'll use that babbless half guard, flicking up into that two guard. Making sure that we always, I, start with, I usually always start with the lever open. It's just a safety mechanism and then you can always close it and start cutting more and more. Or if you go through a, a couple of swipes with the lever open and it's not cutting anything, just immediately go ahead and start closing that clipper until you do hear hair getting cut. There's no reason to waste uh, time and strokes going through there if you're not actually cutting hair. So we do have that babbless half guard on here. We got the lever uh, play going so that we can just pinpoint different spots Know, just as quick as you can there you can take that guard off use the corners of your blade just pinpoint little dark spots throughout there that's just kind of added detail work and then to kind of go ahead and help blend between that half guard and that two I'm gonna use the one and a half guard I do have it closed and you can tell there's a line right here we're gonna come in I believe this is a closed one guard so I do end up in this back area I do end up basically using uh, all the guards except for the three uh, you know I'm not against using every single guard but if I can get away with not doing it you know that's what we'll do unfortunately here and not even unfortunately it's just the way the the cards were dealt uh, so we did what we needed to do got that blended out I am coming back in one more time with the four guard uh, it was a little more weighted here than what I'd like so we're coming straight up and off it's kind of removing a little bit of hair there following it right up one more time with the two guard and then we will go ahead and continue and detail it out get it right and get it right where we want it to so I have this side sped up quite a bit but we do follow the exact same steps I wanted to take a second I know I've been doing this at the end of my videos but Figured I would take a second here in the middle of the video. I don't know if this will catch more people or less people, but I've been looking at the analytics of the channel and it looks still like 76% of the viewers of my channel They're not subscribed. So If you just happen to be one of those 76% right now that is watching right at this moment in this video and you're not subscribed I challenge you to go ahead hit that subscribe button turn on that notification by the way You never miss another video from me um, I try to give it my all, I try to give it my best. Uh, definitely new to YouTube, haven't even been in it for a year. So I only intend on growing the channel and every little bit of support helps. So I encourage you, if you haven't, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So just like we faded up into the haircut, we're gonna fade down into the beard. We started with the no guard, closed. Then we slowly opened it up and worked our way down. Then we opened that lever all the way up. That puts us to about midway down the ear. Put a one guard on there, closed it up immediately, flicked that bottom, that bottom part um, right where we did the open section. And then I flipped the one guard around and went down with the growth of the hair. And that seemed to pretty much blend it out to where I wanted it to be. Uh, he did want a little bit of length removed, so we took a three guard. Now I've got him tilting his head back a little bit so we can get a nice angle um, from the chin back towards underneath there in his Adam's apple area. 
So we got it nice and clean up underneath his neck. I do use, uh, I'm trying to remember which paste. I think this is the level three matte paste. Uh, I didn't do any sea salt spray. His hair would do really well if I used the, uh, the diffuser attachment with some sea salt spray or some texture spray and then the paste. Uh, I just didn't happen to do it in this particular haircut, but I do feel like his hair would be very good for that, uh, that setup. I just don't know if he takes the time himself to actually do that, so I didn't want to do more than what I think he'll end up going home and doing. So that about wraps it up for this haircut tutorial, guys. Make sure you do me a solid. Hit me up in that comment section. Let me know what you think about this haircut. I think I knocked it out of the park. If I do say so myself, I don't want to brag, but it's like I said, this is not my client. This is Coast client, and I wanted to make sure that I did the best I could so that when he gets back in Coast chair, he's good to go. Make sure, guys, you hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. That way you never miss another haircut video from me. Let me know in the comment section, two videos a week, or should I drop back to just one? I'd like to get your honest opinion on that. Hit me up in that comment section. Let me know, and we'll try our best to accommodate you guys for that. Until the next video, guys, y'all know I appreciate it. Barber Phil, I'm out.